Hello and welcome to episode 14. Um, I think I got the number wrong last time, so apologies for that. The title should be right though. Um, so I've done a little bit of stuff uh, since the previous video, so I'll go over that quickly. I got a couple of new mods. Um, one is sort of added ambient sounds, so you'll hear kind of more sounds than usual that I thought was quite nice. Uh, like birds and all sorts of things like that. Um, I also got a mod that kind of adjusted how sounds sounded like depending on the environment. So like if you're inside an area or in a cave, sounds kind of muffle and things. So yeah, um, kind of just want to see how that sounds. And I can, yeah, I can always disable it if it's weird or annoying. Um, this area I decided to dig out completely. Obviously it was... A big mound before, so yeah, dug, dug all that out and then made the all the floor grass. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's there for when I want to do something. Maybe a animal stable or something. Um, trying to think if I've done anything else. Change the doors. Oh yeah, oh, one of the other mods is when I open. If there's two of the same door together, they'll both open in one go. Again, just a nice quality of life thing. Um. I think that was it for the mods. Uh, yeah, if I remember anything else, I'll tell you. But again, nothing that's like, you know, game changing, really. Um, I've been working on the enchantment table area, as you can see down here. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many more bookcases I need, but maybe it's just two. I'm not entirely sure. But. Yeah, uh, I thought we'd have a little look around. My pickaxe is nearly gone, hasn't it? I think I'll make another pickaxe, maybe. Yeah, let's do that just to be safe. Oh yeah, this is another mod. It's quite cool. You see, if I exit the crafting bench, the recipe and the items sort of float there. It's pretty cool. Again, that no, doesn't yeah, doesn't really give an advantage, but it's just nice to have. So I've got my... Uh, let's put that back in there. So I've got some stuff for exploring. I've got a cat and a wolf. But I'm thinking of going uh, southwest towards... So we've been to that village, but I thought we'd go over here to this kind of area. Looks kind of cool, just to kind of explore. And then there, there are extra other places down here, it looks like. So that's where that we saw horses last time. I thought we'd kind of explore this region, see what happens. So I've marked an X that way. Um, so yeah, let's go and have a look around. Oh yeah, and I did get, I added two composters, one there and one just in that corner there. I didn't, I can't even remember what they did, but yeah, bone meal, it's quite cool. Um, so I've been using those a little bit to fill up. Oh yeah, that was one of the other mods. Uh, well, two actually. You'll see leaves fall out of trees, which is, again, just kind of nice. And uh, an ambient light mod. So you, if you've seen my other videos, you'll probably remember me keep going on about, I thought when you had a torch in your hand, like in your shield slot, it would light the area up. That doesn't seem to happen in vanilla, but I've got a mod now that that, that happens. Dynamic lights or something it's called. And yeah, it's, it seems quite cool because, um, yeah, we're, we're literally just the, an hour or so I've been playing now before this video, um, when it rains, if you're not under cover and it rains, the light source goes out. So in your hand, you hear it like, you know, uh, the light go out, which is quite cool. I do need a lot of leather for the, well, maybe not tons of leather, but I, I do need some leather. So I'm going to kill cows on the way. I do want to make some animal farms soon. You know, like a cows and pigs and sheeps and chickens and whatever else. 
I just I can't fully remember how it works. I was like, do you need a lead, or can you can you uh, get them to follow you and you hold wheat or something? I can never remember. I just thought I'd get a little bit done. It's a cool horse. But yeah, you can see how it's lighting up now as I walk around. It's kind of a, a bit jittery and kind of laggy, but I think it's quite cool. But yeah, as I was saying, I thought I'd just, you know, get some basic bits done. It doesn't always, it doesn't uh, always need to be recorded. And of course, it's night time again. New recipe unlocked. Not sure what that is. Never have enough pork. Is this why they're chasing me? I should probably kill the spiders as well. String's quite useful, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so you can hear the sounds now of the crickets or whatever they are. Again, let me know if you find it annoying <laughs> or whatever and I can disable them. Probably one more suitable for my uh, no talking videos. But... It's a lot of... Oh, not left. Attack my bottom skeletons. Keep moving. What's that? I did look into bees as well. I know I said previously I didn't know what you could do with them, but I found out you can harvest the honey um, with glass vials or whatever they're called, glass bottles or whatever the name is on here. Um, am I going to get attacked by weird zombie things? He doesn't look friendly. And yeah, and you have to kind of uh, smoke them out, um, to stop them attacking you when you when you harvest the honey. And that showed me a new item, a campfire I've never seen before. So yeah, I'm not sure if there are other ways of kind of smoking the the beehive, but the video I saw, the guy put a campfire underneath it. If you uh, enjoy these videos, it would help me out a lot if you would, uh, you know, do the general sharing and liking, commenting, subscribing. It's uh, obviously difficult getting these videos uh, out there. YouTube won't recommend them to anyone for quite a while when there's so many more, you know, established YouTubers out there. Probably worth while grabbing. 
I vaguely remember. Uh, oh, is it like in the air? I vaguely remember potions. Um, very, very vaguely. When I played at some point. I'm pretty sure they need mushrooms. Oh, you know, some of them did. like a campfire, doesn't it? What's that animal? Oh, it's a fox. It's a bone cutter. Thank you. Find some nice chests. It's like a mini person. What the hell? Oh yeah, and uh, I got a mod where they all have names. Really just get names. Quite cool. I see a chest. worth taking. Not even sure. Hmm. It's not looking great so far. <laughs> Emerald? Oh, a saddle. That's what we wanted. That is what we wanted. That's good. But it's definitely worth looking around these places. Of birds in the area. <laughs> you tame foxes. That fox. Come here. Yeah. We oops, keep dragging the wrong button. <laughs> There's a creeper behind me somewhere.
got all of the houses. Oh, cool. I've never seen trees like that before. the next so there's two down here yeah. let's change that uh, I'll delete it first and then how many did we find is that three village three Village five. <laughs> Village four is that way. But I do want to check out one of these trees. I do like these sound effects. Hopefully they they go down well. I am running out of slots. Like always. Oh, is that like a huge one? I did install a biomes mod. Biomes are plenty. But I assumed it wouldn't actually wouldn't actually Jesus <laughs> I assumed it wouldn't actually do anything until I started a new world but by the looks of things it does work so hopefully that's okay with people <laughs> oh, what can I get rid of here I mean bread's not great is it One string's probably not that useful. Do we make a chest? The stashing stuff. How far? Home's 1000. Village 4 is 390. Yeah, I feel like that's a good idea. I feel like making a stash. Mushrooms
I'm keeping that for wolves and cats. So let's do uh, stash one. And we wanted to head to the Ford, didn't we? Let's go. go back to the stash at some point. We're gonna I probably should have brought that saddle, shouldn't I? Well it's it's okay. We know there's a load of horses close by. Children, villages, the small ones. Do these ones ever have chests in? Is the other question. The smaller ones. Some boats over there. What oh, far is that? underwater temple things. Oops. Right, so there was another village just here. B5. 
let's head there. I definitely need a boat to get across to that other area. To, the, to those ships. Don't fancy swimming that far. 500 meters. Maybe I can't go around. Thousand two hundred. Oh. Oh, we need to go back home and then go back to the stash. I'm going to be low on inventory space again.
Chicken farms are quite easy to do, aren't they? Because you can use the eggs. You don't have to like lure the animals into an area. Must I did it anyway? I think I'll call this video here and head back home, otherwise this is going to be a quite boring walk. So yeah, thanks for watching as always and see you at the next one, bye.